Hello guys, in this session, let's try to uh, learn how quickly can we do a floor plan for our op -amp. We know that we have got current mirrors, differential pairs over here and a biasing uh, device. So let's see if at all we have to lay it out and give an area estimation of our op -amp quickly. What is the best way to do it? So the thing here is whatever we've learned in the previous sessions, we are trying to implement it over here in one shot. Okay, so we've got uh, all of these devices. I'll just quickly jump onto the Excel mode of this. I will first delete this guy here because I just want to show, uh, you know, I'm generating things from scratch. Okay, so click on this button, generate everything from source. I need everything within with to be generated within the PR boundary. I want it to be in chain and yeah, and I opens over here, it, it selects as M1 pin. Let me make it as M2 pin, just for the sake of uh, you know, having a bit more variety to, to this. Option M2, M2 label, everything is set all right here. And click, leave the other things to default and just click OK. So when you do this, the tool will automatically give a chain version of all the devices. So here, if you select these two, it is going to chain these devices. Okay, you see here all MP2s are one and MP3s. Now, when we are doing current mirrors, we know that uh, we need to interdigitate them. Whereas here, it has just uh, clubbed all together and shared all the sources and drains, which we don't need. We need a interdigitated version of this. So what you can do is just select this, delete it, go back, click onto these two devices. And when you're saying generate selected from source, it gives you a chain version again, but just press F3 and tell that you want to interdigitate this. Okay, so now if I click here, click hide, it will give me an interdigitated version of this. So if I say control F and I go back here and I click on this diode connected device, you will see that it has interdigitated the devices. Okay, now that's how you quickly interdigitate it. Okay, so now in here, if at all you want to, Sorry, let me just uh, deselect the PR boundary. So now we have generated an interdigitated version of current mirror. Now moving on, here we've got differential pair. Same thing, it would do that. So I will just quickly move this guy over here. Slightly, I'm just trying to adjust it. So I'll say one, two, three, and four. I'm just trying to create a ABBA pattern here. One, two, three, and four. Move this guy to the top and I'll just shift this here. Okay, so now I will use one of these buttons over here to club them together. How do I get it? So let me go here, click and key. Sorry, click and say placement. So if I click here and I say I need placement, I will get this uh, tab two options here. This is a button and this is an abutting. So what I'll do, I'll select the first row, click on this button here, it will abut those two, click on these two and abut these two again and just align it together and place them in the middle. Now I'll select these devices. Now I can use a create fluid guard ring or any of those options also. To create, but let me just see if I can do it much more quicker. So I'll say create MPP guard ring, multi path guard ring. So automatically the tool has created a guard ring and well band around it. I'll say end tap and well band one of the same. And I want the guard ring connected to the, the connectivity to be of type VDD. So just click OK, hide, and just click it here. So once you click, one, one thing here is when you clear, create a multi path guard ring. It does it, but then you need to click somewhere else on the screen here for that to uh, stay there. Okay, and just say escape. So your guard ring retains as is. Now, same thing, I have to create a guard ring quickly for this. Select the whole region where you want to draw a guard ring. So create a multi path guard ring. I need a P tab type and I need the connectivity of that to be VSS. Just say apply. Click OK and just click somewhere else on the screen. 
So here you have created a guard ring of type VSS. Same thing, click create multipath guard ring of type VSS. I need to ensure I create a PTAP type guard ring. So apply, click OK, and click somewhere else. Now, so quickly you are able to create all of this. You can just align them and place it here. And your the floor plan of your OPAMP is ready. So this is how quickly you can, uh, you know, create a, the device you have interdigitated. See, it's hardly been three minutes. Okay, in, in between, I've been talking about all the other steps. So if you can just imagine if you have to do it quickly, how fast you can uh, do the floor plan of OPAMP within just few seconds. Okay, so here you have just created, uh, you know, an interdigitated current mirror. Uh, a common centroid, a differential pair, and a balancing circuit with the guard rings along with the pins in the right place. So, only thing you got to do is just stretch in these uh, pins over here as per your uh, choice over here, and you can do it. Now, the other way is you might have to add dummies to it as well. So, we can do it at any point of time. We can very well stretch this, add the dummy over here. Say, for example, I'll just give you a quick uh, option here. I'm not going to go to the schematic right now. I'll just create, click. Okay. I've just copied this. Here, let me just align this guy here. Select this device. Align, sorry, align it with net A. So right click. See here. Create dummy with net A. I just did a right click here. I copied this device, placed it here, right click, create a dummy with net A. So it has automatically created a dummy. Right click, that's it. Same thing, you got to do it on the left side. So created a dummy on the left side. So likewise, it becomes easy for you to create the dummies on right, left, all the sides. See, there are multiple ways of doing it. I'm just showing you the quickest way so that you will have to. Uh, you know, it'll be easier for you to uh, create a rough floor plan for you. You don't have to waste uh, uh, hours together to select each of the device, keep flipping them, aligning them and all. No, it's not required. There are easier and quicker ways of doing things. So this is one such way. Try this out. Just see that if you uh, just let me know how soon were you able to do the floor plan of OPAM. Okay, here with the explanation, I might have taken five, six minutes, but without that, just try to see, utilize the options, whatever I've told you, and just see how quickly you can do a floor plan, an interdigitized floor plan of, and common centroid right? with the matching, whole floor plan, including the guard ring, how much time did you take using these uh, tool options and without the tool options? Let me know how it goes. Thank you.